Hey guys, this week for Weapons Wednesday, we're going to look at some of our newest superhero inspired weapons. But before we begin, if you could just like this video and subscribe to our channel, and check your local laws before carrying any of these items, that would be awesome. Alright, so the first weapon I wanted to show off is not these. We showed these off a few weeks ago in a different video that I did, and I didn't think it would be a good idea to just go into them again. So if you want to check these out, check out our video from a few weeks ago. Today, however, we have a different type of claw I wanted to show you. All right, so these are really awesome, and I've actually never seen anything like them before. These are our new Black Panther claws, and they're like a, uh, a solid steel claw that's very similar to a knuckle duster, but we have them in a couple different colors. We have them in this black, and then we have them in this copper color. And they're actually really, really strong. I wanted to test them out a little bit, and I wasn't sure how we should test them, but I figured I'd just start by throwing this melon on top of the Wing Chun dummy. And, you know, all that's gonna show is that my fist can go through this melon. That doesn't really show us much. So I actually wanted to use some force on it and hit into this Wing Chun dummy a little bit because it is a very strong, dense wood. And I, more than anything, I wanna see if these little claws bend at all or if it hurts my knuckles in the process. So let's actually hit this thing a little bit. Okay, so we can see that the claws don't really have any damage to them at all. They're actually still really nice and, well, they weren't really sharp to begin with. They were just kind of spiky, but my palm's definitely a little tender after that. It hurts a little bit, um, but I am striking a very dense wood there and that's kind of to be expected. I actually like this thing. I think it's a, a pretty awesome weapon, something that's unique. I've never seen anything like it before, uh, but let's test out another superhero inspired weapon. The next superhero inspired weapon I'm gonna show you today is the Black Canary Katana. And I've actually been waiting for a while to show this to you, so I'm super excited about it. But before we start with it, just take a look at that box. I mean, it's stunning. The, uh, even the handle to the box has this detail to it that you don't see on a lot of boxes that katanas come in. But let's, uh, let's actually open this up and take a look at it because this is honestly one of the most beautiful swords we carry and that I have ever seen. All right, so let's start with the handle. I don't know if you can get in very close, but that's some really nice genuine ray skin underneath that wrap. And then if we look at the Suba, we've got this iron Suba on here that has this detailed black canary on it. But let's look at the actual blade. The blade is the best part of it. All right, so this is a 1095 carbon steel blade. And if you look at it, you can see the clay tempered Hamon line across it. I don't know if it'll pick it up on video very well, but that is a really good sign that this is a quality blade. I'm just gonna kind of spin it around a little bit. But it's just a beautiful sword overall. And it comes with the whole sword care kit that's so nice that has you know, the powder ball in it. It's got the little hammer for taking it apart. Um, it's got uh, some, some rice paper, some oil, just all kinds of things that you would need to actually care for your sword. Um, so I love sets like this where it's got everything you need to display your sword and just make it look nice and clean it up. Um, this is a beautiful, beautiful katana. So that is the Black Canary Katana. But let's go ahead and look at another weapon. The next superhero inspired weapon we're going to look at today is the two-piece collapsible bow staff. And I absolutely love this weapon. We've been making it in-house in the United States for around 10 years. And every time we do a video on it, someone comments in the YouTube comments that they've seen it on a movie or a TV show. And the fact of the matter is, we make all kinds of weapons for movies and TV shows. So if you've seen it in a movie or TV show, it was probably ours. But today I'm showing it off again because we just got a new version that's called the expandable bow staff. 
and it's a little bit different than the one we actually manufacture here, but it's uh, a little more economical version for those of you who don't want to spend as much money as this one would cost. So the new expandable bow staff comes in a new five foot version. We have, we've had the four foot version for a little while now, but the new five foot version looks like this and it works about the same. It's just a little bit slower. You actually have to take off these caps. I'm just gonna do it really quick. And add this little center coupler. And then it turns into a bow staff. So it's not as fast as the version we manufacture here in the US, but it's definitely a good alternative for those of you who want something that's similar that may, may not be quite as good. But one of the questions we always get asked is, are you able to actually jab with this weapon? Which is an excellent question because you'd think, you know, the way that it collapses, could I actually jab with it? But here's the thing. If you open this correctly, like really strong, it's got such friction on the end that it's not going to close easily at all. In fact, let's just see if we can jab into this melon that I've added over here. So as you can see, it went all the way through. Yeah, it actually hit the other side. No problem just jabbed into that melon. I don't know if you can see the crack back there, but I can feel it on my hands. Um, so jabbing is definitely an option with these things. And in order to close it, you have to strike it straight down on a solid surface. It doesn't work to strike it down on a soft surface, which is why you're able to jab. But I'm just gonna state this. Don't strike it down on like, tile or on some sort of fancy wood because you're going to end up damaging that but this is how you actually close it. So the next superhero inspired weapon I have for you today is inspired by one of my favorite superheroes, Blade. And if you look, these are solid steel vampire stakes. And I know Blade uses wooden stakes but these things are awesome. This is actually solid steel that's not hollow at all, so this is heavy. This is like 14 ounces, and it has this hole drilled through it to where you could add tassels, paracord, you know, turn it into something else. But uh, this is really, really good quality and heavy. So I just wanted to test this out a little bit to see how strong it would be. But you could just take that out. And just, I mean, look how easily that just cut through the melon. And let's actually test this on the wooden dummy as well. Wow. That is, uh, that's in there solid. I mean, it's sharp. It's sharp steel. Dang. <laughs> that spike just drove right into the wood. And we can see it's in there pretty deep into the Wing Chun dummy. Um, I absolutely love these spikes, and I, uh, I couldn't see doing a superhero-inspired video without showing them off. But let's test out our next weapon. The last weapons I want to show off today are some of our superhero-inspired throwing weapons. So I just have a couple of them right here I want to show you. First off, we have these bat-shaped shuriken. And we have a whole bunch of different styles of these on KarateMart.com, so definitely check them out. But I have a black one here, and I also have a silver one, and they just look so cool, and they actually throw really nicely. Um, might as well just test it out on this melon real quick. So you can see I'm only a couple of feet away, but still, they just slice perfectly. So I'm just going to yank that out really quick. It's got some melon guts on there. But the next throwing weapon we have are these really cool throwing cards. And these are made out of a steel um, and they just look so cool. I'm just going to pull one out so you can see the detail. I mean they're just like a, a plain white. They've been painted really nicely. Actually fairly sharp on the corners. Um, Let's see how they stick in this. So it's stuck pretty nicely. So they throw pretty well. Um, but I want you to check out this video I did like six, seven months ago where I tested out a whole bunch of the different throwing weapons, including throwing stars, throwing cards, bat throwers, all kinds of things. Um, so click the video that's on the screen right now so you can watch that. 
But if you have any questions, definitely leave them in the comments below. Check out KarateMart.com for all of our awesome weapons. And we'll see you next week for Weapons Wednesday. Yeah.